Um, we are going to start in a seated position today. All you'll really need is, um, if you'd like some blocks, you're welcome to have blocks. Um, I'm on straight concrete today, so I do have a blanket for my knees, and then I like my little squishy poof. Um, so if you have one of these, or even like just a big pillow, sit on it, it feels really good. So I know like at the gyms we sit on blankets, but these little poofy guys are like big pillows, it feels really good. Like notice how you can kind of sink in. So I wanna thank you for joining me this morning. Good morning. Uh, happy Friday. Um, I wanted to be outside today to enjoy the fresh air and the sunlight because it's gonna be raining all next week. So let's just take a nice deep breath in and kind of enjoy wherever we're sitting at the moment and being able to um, be able to take in that time that we're able to take in. So if you're with your friends and your family, the close ones that you've been staying at home with, hopefully they're joining you too. So let's start by just rolling our shoulders back and squeezing the shoulder blades together. And just allow your body to warm up. Kind of take note of what is tight and what needs a little extra work. And then relax the shoulders. We're gonna take our arms to our side actually and just very gently moving from side to side, taking it ear to shoulder. And as we sit here, keeping those abdominals nice and tight. Good morning. Happy Friday if you just stepped in. And we're just gonna make sure that we take our time in all of our positions, hold it, and chin to chest, and just allow your chin to rest towards that chest, sitting nice and tall again. Imagine that spine nice and long. And then bring it up. So today is more of a stretch class. Everything we do in yoga is stretching in some way, shape, or form, but today it's very gentle. Um, I want you to just kind of listen to your body. There won't be a whole lot of holding in a position where your muscles are sore. Inhale, lift up. Exhale and reach to those toes. And just allow yourself to go back and forth and very gently moving those shoulders here. Just lengthening through those hamstrings here. Think of this as like a forward fold. And just hinging at the hips slowly reaching towards those toes and wherever you're comfortable reaching we're gonna hold it center take a breath gently resting that head down take your elbows and sink them underneath your shoulders allowing the weight of your arms and you can always have your hands down now I have some blocks here you can use books and um, whatever you like if you don't have blocks at home and you can just use them today as a tool to allow yourself to rest a little deeper into each stretch and I want you to follow your breath through your stretches because as you breathe and exhale, notice your body sort of allowing that stretch to happen and feeling yourself sort of float into that stretch. And then bring it up slowly. We're gonna go into a little butterfly position here. And this is a good place you can use your blocks. You can just rest your knees right on there, make it a little more restorative. Um, if you need a deeper stretch to those hips, we're gonna sit up nice and tall again. Grab those ankles, maybe piece on your fingers into your toes. And I want you to keep that spine nice and straight as we lift that chest and then lean on forward. Yeah, good morning. How are you guys doing? And so if you just joined us, we kind of just started, but take your time through each pose here. And then we're gonna round the shoulders and allow your body to sink. This is where those blocks can come in handy here and just rest them. Now, if you need to, you can always stack your blocks like this, or you can stack your blocks like this. So whatever your flexibility is, don't push yourself. I want you just to make sure that you're doing a light stretch and allowing those muscles to let go. So let's take another slow, deep breath. Maybe rise a tiny bit and then lower. We're working on that lower back and through the hips here. Um, we are gonna get into that piriformis muscle if you're not familiar with that. That's that muscle in your low back kind of glute area um, that has that sciatic nerve that runs through it. 
And so we wanna work that a little bit as well. So right now we're just opening up those hips. Take a deep breath, inhale. We're gonna take one hand off to the side and then reach those fingertips up to the sky, open through the side body. Now you're gonna use that hand that's on the ground to push your opposite hip into your mat or your pillow or wherever you're sitting. Take your shoulder blade and just open up that chest a little deeper, rising that chest all the way up, reaching those fingertips. Inhale through the center, take your time as we go to the other side, reach those fingertips. Now again, using that planted hand to push that hip slightly over, really keeping it centered, draw that shoulder blade back and open. Option to look up to the sky, it's a beautiful morning. Inhale, lift up to the center, and let's go ahead and take it one more time down. You can round those shoulders. Allow the stretch in the lower back happen. Take a slow, deep breath and exhale. Let your arms be that weight again to let yourself go. And maybe sh just shimmy that head back and forth. You can shake it. Give me a little yes and a no. And hold it here. Slowly lift that chest up, rise that forehead up to the sky. So flattening that back, notice through the inner thighs and hips get a little bit deeper stretch. This should feel really good. And slowly come on up. Okay, we're gonna bring those knees in and we're gonna actually round our back here. So I'm gonna turn this way so you can kind of see here. We're gonna hold on to the shins and lean back. And we're gonna round that upper back. So we're opening up through the shoulder blades separating your shoulder blades from your spine. If you round, pull your belly button through your back and then stretch out that upper back. Now let your chin rest to your chest. If it doesn't touch, that's okay. But I want you to really round those shoulders and feel that upper back just really stretch. And you can very gently rock that head again. Make sure it's very gentle. And then holding it center, draw that belly button through the back. Inhale, we're gonna actually sit up, take your shoulder blades and press them back. Lift that chest as high as you can. Open your heart, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then as you exhale, let's come back. Think of this kind of like a cat cow seated. Opening and rounding that back. Inhale, lift that chest up one more time. Take your shoulder blades, press them down and squeeze. Exhale, last time rounding. Notice that back getting more open. Feel all the separation right through that vertebrae one at a time. and bring it up, shake everything out, awesome. So we are going to flip ourselves over into a um, tabletop here, and I'm gonna use my blanket for my knees. You are welcome to do the same, and I'm gonna do this, um, I'll do it sideways so you guys can see a little bit better, all right? So we're gonna go into a tabletop here. Hands are underneath um, your shoulders, and your knees are under your hips. And we're gonna just start by swaying. Maybe push those hips as far over as you feel comfortable, opening up through the side of those hips and body. And you can take your shoulders and push them towards your ears. Nice job. So today, Teresa is gonna be doing our spin class. So I hope you enjoy. Please make sure to get on Facebook only. Um, I could figure out how to log her into both. And then hold it center, round the shoulders, belly button through the back. And then exhale, let's go into that cow. Press your shoulder blades, extend your chest forward. Imagine a string in your belly button, pushing through your chest and forward. And then exhale and round. Now, same as when we were seated, really imagine tilting that pelvis so you get that lower back stretch. And then exhale, release. So we're gonna work on those shoulders. Um, so we're gonna open our feet just a tad bit wider, not too much, and extend into a puppy pose. So puppy pose, our hips stay up and we extend. So a child pose would be back here, and a puppy pose, our hips are up. So no pressure on your knees, just let your head and forehead relax on your mat. And I want you to imagine pressing your armpits into the ground. So we're opening up through the side of that body here and right underneath your shoulders. Take a deep breath. Hips stay up nice and high. And then exhale, shift your weight forward and walk those hands back in. Round back into your cat. 
and exhale to your cow. Inhale, release. We're going to go back to that puppy pose here. Extend your hands and then just the chest. So keeping your hips up here, relax your forehead, press your armpits into your mat. Now release it just enough where you can take those elbows. And we're going to go into a little prayer pose here. Hands are um, pumped together. And we're going to use the elbows and bring those hands behind your head. So same thing, if you'd like, you can actually push back into your child's pose, or you can keep it up in puppy pose, which is better for the knees if you need that. So whatever works best for you, imagine drawing your elbows as far forward as possible and really getting those armpits and chest to press towards the earth. And then exhale, shifting your weight forward, hands underneath those shoulders, round back into that couch and wiggle if you need to. Good, let's arch it into our cow. And release and shake it out. Good, go ahead and curl those toes for me, please. We're gonna walk our hands towards our feet and then go ahead and push those hips up to the sky. Now you can keep those knees bent, hold it into a little rag doll, and just let your body hang heavy. So when your arms loose, your head loose, here's where those blocks come in handy. You can always rest your hands on your blocks. And then just hold it here. Inhale halfway up, and on that halfway up here, I want you to push your tailbone up and back and your chest forward, drawing your shoulder blades back. Lengthen from the hamstring up through the back of that thigh, and then exhale, take it back down into your forward fold. If it bothers you to have your head low, anyone with vertigo or any other heart issues here that this bothers them, just go ahead and keep it a little higher. Maybe you can still get that stretch here. So let's bend the knees, round and pull yourself up. You can walk those hands onto your thighs. Exhale, release and shake it out. We're gonna open those feet nice and wide and just rock from side to side. So inner thighs. Hope you guys are feeling good. I needed this this morning. All right, so we're gonna hold it over to one side. Take your opposite shoulder and bend that knee so you can press that shoulder into that opposite knee. Now feel free to look up to the sky. I'm pushing that opposite knee off to the side. Gently through the center to the other side, twisting that back. So any type of twist through that spine helps ring out those organs, creates blood flow, and then round and roll up. Take a nice deep breath. We're gonna keep our feet wide, take a big breath. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, grab an elbow, working on those shoulders and triceps. Gently lean over. Pull that elbow back if you'd like, and then gently leaning over more. Inhale, reach up to the sky, switching arms. Grab the back of that elbow, leaning on over to the opposite direction. Take that elbow, slide it back. Good, so we're keeping those abs engaged. Inhale, reach up. This time we're gonna grab our arms behind you, roll the shoulders back, and before we drop down, I want you just to shake it out. So you can have your arms low, or if you like them high, you can have them high. So whatever feels good to you, yeah. Hold it, center, open up the chest, soften your knees if you need to, and we're gonna take it down. The other option is to have your legs straight and just hinge at the hips, drop it down. Now your arms can be on your lower back, or if you'd like, you can have them off your back. And let yourself hang heavy here again. Notice as you start to loosen up those arms, maybe able to get a little higher. Very gently release those arms to your back. Take your hands and rest them on the ground. Feel free to roll your shoulders. And let's bend and round and roll. Up. Take your time, inhale. Exhale, shake it out. Good, while we're in this wide stance, let's take it over to one side. Make sure that foot is facing the same length as your knee. So if you're turned out, so is your foot. And we're gonna lean into that one leg and just open up to the inner thighs. So hips aren't just hips, right? Hips include hip flexors, inner thighs, all that stuff in the front of the body too that create tension 
and a lot of pressure in that low back. So when our hips are tight, we hold a lot of tension, a lot of emotion in those hips. And right now, I know we have a lot of different emotions, different tension, lots of stress. So if you hold it here, you'll feel so much better. Um, so I would recommend if you can stretch a couple times a week, if you don't have time to do anything, this is what you should be doing. Let's place those hands on the lower back. Turn your toes slightly off to the side. So I want a nice base here, and this is to open up through the hips. Just bend your knees and push your hips forward. So we're gonna squeeze those butt cheeks, yeah? And then just slowly push forward. Now, if you choose, you can look back. If you don't like it, don't look back. Just keep it right here, and really just open up through our hip flexors here. So it's a deep back bend. <sighs> Inhale, release. Exhale, just roll your hips around. You should already be feeling so much better, like a whole weight off your shoulders. And shake it out. Yeah, all right, good. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I'm gonna take those feet back together. Big inhale, reach up. Exhale, we're gonna take it back to our forward fold. You can walk the hands or just gently take it down, forward fold. And let's grab our elbows. I'm gonna turn this way just so you can see me a little better. We're gonna grab those elbows and let yourself just hang. So that gravity that we were talking about, we're gonna allow that gravity to just press us down towards the earth. And this time, let those shoulders sink towards your ears. So create that heaviness with your arms. And if you wanna wiggle a little, notice that when you twist slightly over to one side, you get that low back on one side deeper. And then exhale, switching over to the other side. Back to the center, take a slow, deep breath. We're gonna release those arms. Now from this position, we're gonna lift our toes up and place our hands underneath our feet. Now you can bend your knees as deep as you need to to get them there, okay? So you don't have to have straight legs. You can bend your knees super deep. And I want you to take your elbows and point them towards your knees. Now then sit into it. So now we've been probably on our phones a lot more, computer a lot more. And so we're gonna be a lot tighter through those forearms. So we're pressing into our hands, pointing our elbows, rounding our shoulders. Oh, deep stretch. Now, not only that, we're pressing on that belly, working on that digestive system. We got all kinds of good stuff happening. Slowly release the hands wherever you are, round and roll up, shake it out. Nice. Job. Big inhale, reach up to the sky. We're gonna open our hearts. You can have your hands wide or you can bend your elbows. We're gonna touch our shoulder blades together. And one little micro bend here. Inhale, reach up and exhale, shake it out. We're gonna take it down onto the ground. All right, so I promised you a little bit of low back and piriformis, which is that low glute area, or low back, high glute area. So let's take it down onto the ground here, and I'm gonna go sideways. Um, so let's take it down onto the ground. And before we really get started here, I want you to go into a butterfly again. So your bottoms of your feet are touching, your knees are wide, and I just want you to sort of sink. And take a moment to kind of check back in with your body and feel how you're sort of floating, feel that blood flow through your body and take advantage of this moment to just take a few breaths. If I could stay like this all day, I would, but there's stuff to do. All right, so we're gonna bring those knees into the chest. You can have your hands underneath the knees or if you choose to have them on your shins. Um, if you have any knee issues, I recommend hands underneath the knees. It just allows a little more space in those knees. Take a slow, deep breath, arms off to the side, into a little T, let's take our knees off to one side. Now we're gonna keep our knees at our hips in line, because what that does is create the stretch to that low back here. And then gently rolling through the center, over to the other side. If you need a moment to shake it out, you can. And then you could go to the other side. So take your time. Remember, when you save these workouts, you can press pause and hold these stretches longer. Taking it back to the center. We're gonna drop our feet down so that the knees are up to the sky and just hold it for a second. Check back in with that back. Take one leg and place it on your opposite leg in a figure four. 
So we want to make sure that foot is flexed. Now you can stay here with your feet down if you already feel that stretch through the hips. But if you choose, we're going to lift that foot up and we're going to pull that leg in a little bit more. Now what I want you to imagine doing is taking your knee and pressing it away from your shoulder. So you could either use your hand or take your hand and wrap it through the hole that will thread the needle and use your elbow to push that knee away from your shoulder. So here's that piriformis muscle, deep into the glutes, up higher, right where that sciatic nerve hit. Now ideally we would stay here a lot longer, but today we're gonna stay here for just a few more seconds. So feel free to come back to this exercise a little bit later. Now to deepen that stretch of the hips, we're gonna release that arm wherever it is and place it on the, sh on the shin or just the back of the knee and lean the opposite direction just a tiny bit. Notice that stretch get a little bit further through the outside of the hip. Then back to the center, take a breath. Maybe you can hug in a little deeper. And if you'd like, you're welcome to hug all the way in, curl yourself into a little ball and very gently come out of it, resting your head and drop that foot back down. Now let's keep that figure four here and stay for a moment, taking that leg and just pressing it away from your body. So I'm gonna use that hand to open up right through that hip flexor here, right through the outside of that hip. Gently release it. Now still with that same leg, let's bring that leg straight up. If you choose, you can take the other leg and straighten it out. So if you'd like to straighten that other leg out, if that bothers your back, you can have it slightly bent and let's hug that leg in a little closer. Now it's not about how far you get your leg up towards your chest, it's about lengthening from the back of the knee all the way through those hamstrings here. Take a breath. Now let's finish off that leg by bending your knee, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna turn away from you for a moment, but we're gonna grab our ankle and lay on our side and then go ahead and bring that knee behind you. So your knee is straight down, your hip is pressing forward, opening up through the front of your thigh and quadricep the front of your hip, right to the hip flexor. Slowly release it, roll onto your backs and shake everything out. We're gonna do the other side and we'll be Almost done here. Let's place those feet back on the ground with the knees up. Take a moment, resettle that back if you need to wiggle. And let's take that other leg and figure for it. And holding it here for just a moment. Remember, you can keep your feet down. Or if you choose, we're gonna bring those feet up. So here we are back in that figure four piriformis stretch glutes. And you're gonna press that knee away from your shoulder. Now you can do it with your hand. You can thread the needle and then do it with your elbow. So whatever feels good to you, is what I want you to do. And here's where those emotions are held again. So if you like, just take slow deep breaths. Allow it to happen. And then if you'd like, you can release that arm. We're gonna lean just slightly the opposite direction and allow that knee to kind of press into that chest a little bit, opening up to the side of the hip here. So I can't stress enough how important it is for your body to stretch. The more tension we create in those muscles, it changes our body alignment. So if you're tight through the hips, you may not even realize that that's why you have a bad back. Okay, so we need to really allow those muscles back into the center, take a breath. We're gonna drop that foot down, keep it here, and press that leg away from you. So by flexing that foot, it allows that a little angle in those legs. Slowly release it, extend that leg straight up. And option, extend the other leg straight up. So go where you're comfortable with that other leg. Feel free to flex your toes towards your shin and open up through the back of the knee into the hamstrings. You're gonna notice one side tighter than the other, that's completely normal. 
All right, let's bend the knees. So we're gonna roll over onto the other side, grab that ankle, roll onto the side. You could use your arm as a pillow and let's gently slide that leg back so that your knee and your hip are in line. Pressing your hips slightly forward. Feel that stretch of the front of the thigh here, down through the quads. Awesome job. This is a great way to end our week. And if you're spinning right after or doing anything else, you're nice and ready to go. Release that leg very slowly. Roll back onto your back. Extend those arms over your head. Reach those heels as far to the edge of the mat as you can. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Excellent. Now you can either hug your knees into your chest and rock from side to side or just roll on your side and lift yourself into a seated position. So again, for those of you that came in a little late, we have to end a little bit early today. Um, we are doing a teacher parade over at our elementary school that my son went to and all the seniors that are supposed to be graduating this year and it's just kind of rough. So all the seniors are gonna be in one area and so we're gonna go there today and just show some appreciation for our teachers and for our seniors. So, um, yeah, anyway, um, I'm sorry. Thank you for joining me. Um, namaste.